like Sebastian may be moving down the home stretch. We see Hepatal on the other side, though, still going through. It's never over until it's over. And there it is. Sebastian comes in with an answer. 2.334 pounds. And that is not correct. That is not correct. So Sebastian coming in with an incorrect answer here now needs to go through his model. He needs to check all the dimensions. He's looking at the drawing, but this may once again open the door for Het Patel to come in with an upset. All eyes on Het Patel now. Is he going to be able to... Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's CAD vs. CAD tournament highlight, we're going to see an epic battle between two CAD experts. And if you enjoy this format of looking at a 2D drawing and trying to turn it into a 3D model, be sure to take a look at our website, TooTallToby.com. We've got over 200 of these 2D to 3D CAD challenges, many of them real world parts, very similar to what you see our competitors doing in today's CAD vs. CAD highlight. So be sure to check out the website. You can get started today. And as always, let me know down in the comments what you thought about today's model and what you thought about today's CAD vs. CAD battle. I thought that was an interesting comment from Ivan. But uh, that, that is where we are in the tournament right now. We are in this round of 16, and the models are going to be a little bit on the easier side compared to what we're going to see once we get to the final eight, the final four, and, of course, our official championship match. Guys, congratulations to the winner. Put a GG in the chat for Sebastian, and let's head back to the Wheel of Fate and see what it has in store here. We're going we're gonna to take a look at the Wheel of Fate here, and we're going to use this to randomize our next challenge, and we're going to find out what our next challenge has in store for these runners. What's it going to be? Is it going to be sheet metal? Is it going to be some kind of uh, wood, wood construction? Is it going to be an injection molded part? You know, what does the wheel have in store for our runners? I like how that plasticity P looks as it as the wheel of fate is spinning around. Oh, Jern. Let's go. I like it. Looks like it was Jern who predicted 11 and no one else, just Jern. So let's go on and learn just a little bit more about our runners. You know, Sebastian started using Katia in 2011. He has a dog and he loves pizza. Nice. Oh, and he's also passionate about making Neapolitan style pizza, my favorite one. Wow, he really does love pizza. And Hepatal says, started using AutoCAD CAD in 2023 with AutoCAD. This is his first ever CAD tournament online, and he loves Formula One and is a big fan of Sebastian Vettel. Nice. Yeah, I think that, I think you're going to have a lot of fans in the audience uh, if that's what you are a big fan of. So good luck. It's going to be a, a tough battle, but it's really anybody's game. You just got to take down these next two points. Whoever gets the first two points is going to move on to the round of eight. So good luck to both of our runners. This next CAD vs. CAD battle featuring Sebastian, our number one seed from Germany using Katia, going up against Hepatal, our number 14 seed from India using Onshape, begins in three, two, one. Go! What is the mass of this part in x.xxx pounds? The tolerance on this one is plus or minus 0 0.003 pounds. This is in inches, and the material is plain carbon steel. Our runners have to look at this print. They have to grab a screen capture. They have to come up with a game plan, and then they are almost immediately jumping into their 3D CAD with their game plan. So here we see our runners. Here we see our runners in their 3D CAD. One of the first things you got to do is make sure you got your unit correct. And so, of course, if you have any kind of template or anything set up to help you with that, that will definitely speed along that process. But we see here that Sebastian is taking an approach here, looking at this thing from the right side view, kind of looking in, drawing up that little channel. This is some kind of a sliding jig made out of uh, made out of of metal I forget which metal is made out of made out of steel and uh we can see here that sebastian is going through and he's modeling that thing up from that right side view kind of drawing in all that geometry and i'm willing to bet he's going to extrude it and we see that het patel on the right is taking a very similar approach het patel getting in here and creating this geometry looking in from the right i love the way that he is using on shape and using those multiple contours and not worrying about trimming it up or anything he's just going to click that contour and turn it right into an extrusion 
And it looks like Hepatal is going to take first blood in this battle. Very nice, my friend. Well done. So he gets that first boss extruded. He's got he's a, the first runner here to have some solid geometry in this thing. And now we see that he's going to be moving on to create his next set of features. Looks like he's going to move on to creating that hole that's moving down from the top. And now we see Sebastian gets his first solid geometry in place. So his first solid geometry looks like it was that kind of uh, C-shaped bracket, the thing that might slide in this sliding jig. And it looks like he's struggling a little bit to get his second ge set of geometry extruded. Maybe he's missing a line or something there that he needs to add. I'm not sure of all of the requirements of Katia, not a Katia expert, but we'll see how Sebastian deals with this. Meanwhile, Hepatal has already moved on, created that first feature, and now has created his second feature in creating that hole. And it looks like he's going to use the midpoint of that main feature to kind of center that next feature, that little bridging feature. On the left, we see that it looks like Sebastian was able to get that sketch resolved. Now he's able to turn that into a solid, and now he's moving on to extrude that third solid. We'll see what he does with that third solid with regards to uh, getting those fillets in place on that thing. I like how he's able just to go through and Katia and just kind of add in some, some math to get the geometry to line up the way he needs. Oh, look at that. We got that fillet on that back section of this jig. And now jumping into some type of a hole tool and adding a hole, centering that hole there on that circular edge, getting that hole in place, mirroring this whole thing. And looks like Sebastian may be moving down the home stretch. We see Hepatal on the other side though, still going through. It's never over until it's over. And uh, we saw last time that Sebastian did submit an incorrect answer. So we'll see if he does it again this time. Sebastian looking through his mass calculator, and we're going to be watching the chat to see if an answer comes in from Sebastian. And Hepatal on the right getting that kind of slot shape extruded. I'm looking at the chat here, I'm not seeing the answer come in. And there it is. Sebastian comes in with an answer. 2.334 pounds, and that is not correct. That is not correct. So Sebastian coming in with an incorrect answer here now needs to go through his model. He needs to check all the dimensions. He's looking at the drawing, but this may once again open the door for Het Patel to come in with an upset. All eyes on Het Patel now. Is he going to be able to get this geometry extruded to the height that he needs it to? Is he going to be able to bridge that geometry while Sebastian is trying to run down this error? Matab in the chat says, I got it. And Jern and Matab are both saying, I see it. You notice how they're not telling him what is wrong. They're just letting him know that they know. I'm sure that that, that really helps. <laughs> but of course, we don't want to spoil it for these guys. We want to make sure that they all have a fair chance to get through and uh, get this thing modeled up. And we're keeping an eye out on the chat here. We're keeping an eye on... Uh, it looks like... Uh, Hepatal on the on the right using on shape was able to get in and create that back section I like the way he created that back section kind of out there on its own And so now it's just a matter of trying to figure out how to bridge those two sections together Yeah, FPV Kev saying uh, Yeah, FPV Kev saying uh, that that it's easy to miss something that looks obvious to the viewers Yeah, and Matab saying that was nice. Uh, it was nice. Nice model there. Thank you, Matab Yeah, that's a, a little bit of a meta comment. I know uh, But I think that Matab is referencing the fact that sometimes these models can have just like little subtle tweaks to the way that the dimensions are shown um, And that can definitely make it a little bit easier or a little more difficult to uh, figure out what the correct answer is Sebastian he's gonna fire off his second Second bullet here coming into the chat 2.052 pounds and that is correct and Sebastian becomes our first winner of the day to move on to the round of eight congratulations to Sebastian well done my friend our number one seed is going to be moving on to the round of eight and guys, if you look at the tournament bracket, there are no easy paths really uh, to get to the finals. All of our brackets have some heavy, heavy hitters in there and uh, it's absolutely an awesome tournament this year. But I wanna just remind you to please put a GG in the chat for our winner, but also put a GG in the chat for Hepatal. This is his very first tournament here with us and I'm so excited to have him in here with all of us. So put a GG in the chat for our, our winner, Sebastian, moving on to the round of eight. Put a GG in the chat for Hepatal. I know that we're going to see him back here in a future tournament. And nice job, Hepatal, for being here in your very first tournament. Very, very nice job.